Good day and welcome. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're loading. Ah. That's a slow loader today, man. Hey, Asta. How was your... Uh... Supper yesterday. The way you did last. The rewards for stitchable. Look at that. 1500s. 1500. <laughs> See that? 1500. Over there. I pointed this way, but I'm backwards. You, you are our guest. Pretty good haul. <laughs> I don't even I don't even remember what I did now. It was like five seconds. I was putting the mask on, I think, wasn't it? Oh, not there. Okay, how about here? Oh, that feels good. Stephanie, thank you for sharing. We've got fifteen hundred. Timothy, thank you for sharing. Walter, thank you for whatever you, if you liked. Oh, not there. Okay, how about here? If you oh, like that feels good. Timothy, Stephanie, Walter, there's the like. Has to like probably. Probably just went past everybody. 15, you, you are our guest. 1500 for the dream stitchables snap. Good morning. Morning. My chair. Oh, did I just put all the fish back that I was going to get rid of? No, I didn't. It's old. Probably. I don't know. He was there. Must have got... Must have. Somebody voted for me. You know, the thing is, is that it's hard. You know, as Stephanie says, these dream snaps are, they take like five seconds. Like, literally. He saw in yesterday's stream I did it I did one in like no time at all. All I do is go and pick the items, randomly plop them down, take a picture and away I go. I don't even I don't even really plan it out, eh? I just kinda make sure that it meets the requirement. You liked first, eh? There's a, a moose chair or something. I don't think there is a poll, yes. Oh, uh, greetings, divided neighbor. so far. The results. <laughs> We've got some books oh, now. I hope there's no a leak in my money bin. <laughs> there's a button you can press to call up the poll if you don't have it showing. You don't even have to refresh. I figure that's gonna be it's gonna be a contested poll. Who do I like? I'm kinda divided, but you know, because you know, I like Tom Hanks. But I think Ace is kind of a cooler character. Or not Ace Buzz, I mean. I haven't seen the Buzz Lightyear movie. Hello. Woo! Hey! But uh, you know, on the original Toy Story, I thought Buzz was kinda kind of a fun character. Did you see my picture? 
for this one? Oh yeah. Current challenge. So there it is. I literally just, for this one, just put on the outfit, went to somewhere in front of the skull because that's old, and then pose, and you know, it's kind of cool that old, uh, what's his face there was behind me flexing. How you feeling now, Esta? Probably vote on these things, eh? And I put just as much effort into this as you can see. But I vote to exactly 50 points most of the time. Because, you know, we don't want people about giving people votes that might be voting competing against me, you know? I still don't know what to do for this holiday treat for Scar thing. Using man. Oh yeah, we gotta finish minis. Duties, tables, and Remy. Royal Tadas. And talk to Simba. I guess let's see if there's any duties in here. Uh, I haven't got the new, new ones. Fish pie, latte, bulgur salad, savory fish, and cheesecake. You remember that? Probably not. Fish pie was one of them. Ow! I already unlocked the biome, I just haven't entered it yet. We got fish pie, and then savory fish was another one. Stephanie said that the only thing she knows how to make in this is the platter. The fish platter or whatever it was. Bulgur salad was one of them. Some sort of cheesecake too, but I can't remember which one. Woo! Just regular cheesecake, I guess. And a latte. Oswald, I haven't unlocked him either. Latte and cheese kick. I'm all caught up on the boys again. One episode left now for me. Unlocks next week. Woo! Oh my gosh, what an episode, Asta. Oh. What am I waiting for? I don't know. I just do things randomly. I don't even know how to unlock Oswald, to be honest. I just kind of mostly work on these, uh... Star lines, or whatever they're called. What would lattes be under? Is that a dessert? Or like an entree? There we go. Yeah! Alright, let's give everybody their food. How you doing? Oh-ho! You've been a terrific audience!
Hey there! Woo! Mm -hmm. You know what's a buzz and Woody never come to eat? Oh! <laughs> duty calls! Talk 27 to cartoons and then 100 it's years? It's about time. guy here is the <laughs> coolest guy. Hey, Gaston. Gaston considered a villain? Fine. Go. Oh, I might as well. Well, hello. Give Merlin his food. Superb. <laughs> Doesn't they lose the copyright after that? Hundred years? Hang out with an unmeltable you villager. I guess I gotta hang out with Snowman. Nobody likes him, only you? He's like the funniest dude ever, man. Wouldn't it be fun to go for with beer, have a beer with him or something? Okay, what do we gotta do again? Uh, Minnie's favorites. What what she want today? Wouldn't want to have a beer with Gaston. Who, which Disney character would you want to have a beer with the most, Esta? Blue Star, Lily, Gingerbread House, and Gooseberry. And all of a sudden they want gooseberries, eh? Gingerbread house, what was it, Blue Star or something? Remember the other one. Dang, Mini. Blue Star. Me. Blue Star Lily. this potion open at your own risk oh, I can't open it the bread house He is a highly self-absorbed glory hound. Well, all that's true, but he'd probably still be pretty funny to hang out with. Detour? Hey, hey, good to see ya. Esther probably wants to hang out with Homelander from the boys.
Pumpkin King is favorite gifts now, Good eh? Morning. Help me out. Your dumb painting. What is with this neighborhood? Have you watched the boys, Timothy? I can't remember. Find the snowman. You see a snowman. Got him right there, eh? Oh, you don't have Amazon? You know, it's funny that Maverick doesn't have Amazon either, but he's seen the boys. Don't tell me what to do for that. I could, I'd melt this guy. All right, we got to find Minnie now. Is that her house? button for serving Sheesh, I guess we're there now don't need to serve although I'd probably be better to watch it on Amazon Mickey later. Well, we better give you this stuff now then. You're doing her too? What movie did you watch yesterday, Esther? Rise and shine, everyone! <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. Goodbye! Here. Five star starters. I thought you were gonna watch a movie. Oh, good morning. All right, who's the next one we have to do? Pumpkin King. Pumpkin King is Jack Skellington, right? Coconut ice cream, a gold nugget, and Prisma shrimp. Hopefully we have some Prisma shrimp.
What was the other item? Well, at least we have some. Could use a few more sleds around here. You watch Spirited Away. I remember Asta's activities better than I remember than she remembers it. Yeah, gold nugget. this doorknob I don't see him Well, I don't know what to do in that other quest, eh? This is house. Yeah, potatoes and crispy chicken. Oh, that's that weird portal. Did you ask me what I had? I missed it or what? Oh yeah, you did. I just like skipped the skip freaking forgot about the question and moved on to tell me what you had. He didn't see, so I'm just going to continue on. Continue on in my program loop. My AI program. Yeah, but you I obviously missed it and you didn't pursue, so I mean, you probably don't care, really, right? Where's Jack's house? Yeah, I miss him sometimes, the comment. Usually I'll kind of read it back a little bit, right? What does Jack's house even look like? I thought I'd put it up here, but I don't see it. What did I have for dinner? I had chicken tacos. Corn. 
Peasant Lord. Or not, tell ya. You had marinated octopus and salad and garlic bread last night? Sounds pretty good. I made Esther hungry. She's got to go have lunch now. Like something from the underworld? I thought you said something from my underwear. Where's this turkey, man? I don't see him at all. What is it with me and trying to find characters? Sometimes I can't just can't see him at all. What? He is talking about There are so many nice people here. Yeah! There he is. Come on the map, dude. <laughs> I have no idea where his house is, to be honest. <laughs> but he better eat this ice cream. It's probably starting to melt. <laughs> not even done yet. I thought he was done already. <laughs> That's a creep. Wishing me a dreadful day. As they Goodbye, friend. Pleasant Friday screams. Do you know what I'm supposed to do for this holiday treat for Scar and holiday treat for Olaf? I have no idea, man. They won't tell me. If I talk to Olaf, he kind of grunts at me. What should I do? Surely you must know, Timothy. Cooking something. We just gotta cook him a random crap. Nothing in there. Five star starters. Tilapia. Was that Frosted Heights and Sunlit Plateau? Blue, probably. Whoa. Are you just guessing? Am I going to make a bunch of random stuff again? Jack dreamed about Christmas. The blue one. Oh. Oh. Why does morning have to be so early? That's not what I was looking for.
Welcome to Lapia. No tilapia. What's a word that rhymes with tilapia, Stephanie? Need your, your assistance there. Call it a quiz, I guess. You like quizzes? So the quiz question is, what's a word that rhymes with tilapia? Malapia? What's Malapia? <clears throat> Is that a real word? Never heard of Malapia. Alexa, what is Malapia? I want some place, but it's not pronounced the same. It's not a word, but it's the only one you could think of. Well, that doesn't really rhyme if it's not a word. Alexa, what rhymes with tilapia? You said Chardonnay pairs well with tilapia. Who knew? Esther, do you know anything that rhymes with tilapia? Stephanie said malapia, but that's not a real word. Hello, white sturgeon. crab so we were looking for rhymes with tilapia this is like that's the hardest question I've ever been asked How they say tilapia in Australia? You say tilapia the same way? There, Goofy. I can goose them. What'd you answer in the poll, Stephanie?
I talked to them and then they just said, look at it, like here's Olaf. I bet. <gasps> what should I do? And he says, you seem like you have a lot on your to-do list today, Giggle. Oh yeah, your surprise is nearly done. And then the other scar said something like, he said, I got a surprise for you coming. Did you ever get into Pinocchio, Stephanie? I remember Pinocchio being cool. You know, Woody kind of reminds me of P Pinocchio, sort of. <laughs> Nothing in the river here today. Go cook some starters. Look, it's snowing like mad and foggy. Couple bucks. An omelet recipe. this place is man looks like here when there's forest fires I just gotta make a general holiday treat. Maybe it doesn't have to be specific. A donut. Mermaid cupcakes. actually put clam in it, eh? Did you find anything, Timothy?
Oh, it's starters I gotta cook anyway. I know what their favorite holiday is. I don't know what their favorite holidays is. You know, there's usually like on Google, there's probably easier to find than on YouTube the answers to quests, you know? How many is that anyway? We gotta do another row probably. There we go.
Onions are on the way. Gotta craft a blank book. You can do a blank book, maybe. I learned things don't always go. Does that make sense that their prize could be a crafted item, eh? I have four fabric. I don't even know how many I have. Well, fiber. Blank book. Uh, here it is. What about for uh, Scar then? I just have to give it to him. True love. Ha! Power is the only key to real happiness. Hmm. Well, now I got a blank book anyway. It says holiday treat though, so I wonder if that's a different quest or something. <laughs> Let's see, a holiday treat for Scar. You have to grow specific vegetables within the Forgotten Lands. Growing them outside this area will not be... Uh, counted for the quest. So it looks like we need... For Scar, we need to grab some plants. For Olaf, so the book that we created, probably. Ugh, I know it's sunshine. Once you gather, use any crafting station. The recipe is under functional items. Once you made the blank book, give them to Jack Skellington. Okay, so we got to give it to Jack, I guess. We got to get a bunch of seeds. Scar. 
bell peppers, potatoes, tomatoes. Do we have any of these in here? Bikini? Not one. Good morning. There's none of them here. Ooh. Need anything from the market? Just come see me. Six tomato seeds. Bikini. It's a good boy. Need to go to the forest as well. Peppers. some zucchinis probably Whoa! and then we need eight potatoes Plant them specifically up here. So long.
Ugh, I know the sunshine. Oh, more. Well, that's not the way I was intending to go. Hey, dudes. You're doing royal duties. There's eight zillion of them on this start path. You can actually kind of double them up sometimes. Got some dark wood since uh, that book was made on dark wood. Are you done your star path duties, Timothy? Asking you if you did your star path duties.
full for my inventory, eh? Gems, purple gems with your pickaxe. What do you think those are? Guns, frosted heights, and forgotten lands. You get back here. This thing. Yam. Yam and tomato and This valley is the most amazing place I've ever seen. Almost four pages complete. Nice. box extra tomatoes in there. There we're half empty now. pages do I have now? I must be close to that, eh? Hills, though. Poor dress. Mortal Kombat. Could have got that fifty. Could 
15 points left. So we need 100 points for this stove. Archway is 50 points. Rotten Lands and Frosted Heights. Here's a purple one. Change outfit, that's an easy one. Diamonds on this run, eh? Oh, we found one purple gem so far. Frosted Heights for fish and fish ha, ha, ha. A fine day and stone. Incorporated.
It's good. <laughs> Thank you. I won't remember what he wanted. This is the cat. Are you in the peaceful meadow right now, right? Apparently you can switch the trail really fast now too, eh? And you're in furniture mode? It's nice having so many friends here. You just replace it if you have enough. I just replaced all my trails with brick. It's a new feature, this update. I was reading the update. Did you know about that? I thought that's what Esto was saying. Cool about you go up to your path if you have a path somewhere. Go into your furniture mode, or then you click click on your path. Then you can go replace LT. And then you can replace it with if if you have enough material already made for that kind of road it'll replace that whole path with it so if say i had a lot of gold brick road then i could replace that whole this whole thing with it Esther just wanted me to explain it completely and she already knew She said, yes, I did. Big icicle things out of the way. Kind of obstructive because they're so big. There's one up there, Paul. Probably be a shiny.
Man, it's too bad your pet doesn't go and fetch these things, because that'd be awesome. Another purple. That one's a good one to have. We need the that kind of fish. Like a sturgeon. Ooh. Caught for the very first time. Like a sturgeon. Oh, my heartbeat next to mine. These sturgeons. Okay, we got a Mike Wazowski dream coins. Meal in a restaurant, night thorns, four night thorns. Give up your day job. Stephanie always says my singing's great. Probably has me muted when she says that, though, you know. I just love sunny days. You know, one time I tortured my nephew by playing the rock band Endless Setlist with him, and I had to do the singing. Never had a kid draw a picture of you. That's a pretty, pretty rough. That's like 50 songs in a row. He played the guitar, drums, or whatever. He Stephanie didn't even comment. She's not here anymore. Probably hardly listening. Probably has it muted. If she's even here. We used to play that Stephanie Are You There song, but I got copyrighted on it, so. Stephanie, are you there? And then after like five minutes, she'd say yes. Like, stop bugging me, I'm busy minecrafting. And my favorite streamer, Bob Billy Potato. Exactly. Exactly what you'd say. Another purple. 
You are our guest. Vladimir's here. Vladimir from the Philippines. Let him cook. Hey, this might be a tilapia, hopefully. Looking for the darn tilapias. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, grabo. This valley has so much. The lost connection, last streams, they just left. You just have to refresh it, and then, then you'll get your connection back, you know. You said, I'm going to go play outside, and then you left. So I assumed that you were going to go play outside, and that it was nothing to do with your connection. I can't catch a tilapia to save my life. Are they up here? I can't. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong spot. I can't remember now. I thought it said frosted heights, frosted flakes. They're great. Same, you only got two. Tilapias are hard. We should put out a missing poster for Stephanie. I, I think she's gone missing. I guess everything the light touches. Is... Doesn't even say BRB anymore, you know, she just disappears. You got one? I mean, did you get Vladimir? What's your answer to the poll today, Vladimir? Wearing one, mines want to know. Vladimir said that uh, tilapia are pretty common in the Philippines. I think Vladimir's gone too. I 
Back to Sunlit Plateau, I guess. Hey, purples do I have now? Six. These rolls done hanging out with no man. Do that one yet? one oh any balloon arch two of them and that's a flower killer what the easiest flower arch Thank you for liking. Hands down, this is the best day of my life. Stand in my garden and play in your dumb loot.
What do you think is the easiest arch? I can build any more of these. Large ones. We got better supplies for this one. knock out my green in the butt. Oh, I'm so glad you're my friend. They have a lot of cooking in this too, don't they? Cheese platters and hearty salad. I grew some lettuce. <laughs> Pretty good salad, though. Wow. Wow, am I happy to see you? Gravel coin. Daily discussion. James. Ooh. Uh huh. See you around. Ooh. Yeah. What? Man. Until next time.
You were great. And, uh, <laughs> You're leaving? And, uh, How say, odd. Uh, walk home, whatever. I, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, hi, folks. Uh, well, that's it. That's my set. <laughs> guys are stuck together, out. man. Uh, you were great. And, uh, well, uh, tell your friends. And uh, you, just who I wanted to see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Help me out, smashing everything. Can't get anything with old wreck at this time. Yeah, see, here's a secret move, you guys. Ready? See how there's four coins right here? She can only pick up three. But if you put her beside this middle one, you can just grab that middle one. And she gets all four. In case you were wondering. Probably change racket for uh lion or something. I can't reach anything, so Fortunately, I have uh, that guy over there. I think I can move like this. It's fine. I mean, she won't get the most coins, but. Ready for work, eh? Look at that, we won.
make a great team. Am I right? Yes, I can really dig my yeah, hammer. Move really partially on me this. there. ones need watering uh, just so you know I've got some new good Tilapia. You, you are our guest. One more tilapia. Matt, thank you for liking. We got all our tilapia. Hooray. I'm genuinely excited, as you can see. Talk with a transformed prince. Who's the transformed prince? You'd think it would be beast, but he's still human. Come on, Disney experts, you gotta tell me. What did he transform from? Eric or Beast? Well, I mean, that's all the princes, isn't it? Are we... Are we missing any princes in our guesses here? Cinderella is not a prince, Timothy. The 
Princess. I can't believe now that I've caught that tilapia what to do with myself. Got seven of the purples. Good. More gold ones here. Catch some sturgeon, you know. You're missing Princess Leia. I got another tilapia now that I don't need it. But I can't give you that tilapia, hey? If you heard Princess when I said it, how come you guessed Eric? Oh, the valley is coming along nicely. That's confusing. You guessed a man and then you guessed a woman. Cinderella even in this game? Oh, I'm hoping that soon. got to be down here somewhere, right? I didn't see them. They must be the ones I'm looking for. Maybe it's Prince Ariel. <laughs> When's this guy? Hello. Thank you. Let's see if that's the dude. He is not the transformed prince, so both of your guys' first guess was incorrect. I'm so grateful that Bell sees me. I talked to Depresso emo guy here. Goodbye. Looks like he's the transformed prince. But he's not transformed, he's still a beast. Unless I guess the mean transformed into a beast. Because that's possible. Okay, so that probably made that square for today. I just got all the tilapia too. And then I got one right after that too. 
This is like Castle Alley here. Oh, I guess. just love watching the human world. Where all the Disney women hang out is with the castles, all the princes, you know? Now you gotta hang out with Olaf. Lucky you. How's it going? Plaza Rocks. No gems in this stuff. Not the gem I was looking for. Now donuts or everybody's gonna be craving a donut. Esther's gonna have to go to Australia and Tim Hortons on the way to work. Don't even grave Tim Hortons anything. What about Robin's donuts or something?
What about a Krispy Kreme donut? I don't think this Krispy Kreme even have a location. Usually they're just on sale in front of stores and stuff. What kind of donut shops do they have near you, Tim? What's the what's the going donut shop in your area? If you had to go and get some donuts for a party right now, you know? Where would you have to go? Man, these were all to do things. Annoying. Independent grocery stores where you'd have to go for your donuts, really? There's no actual bakeries or anything like that. Well, hopefully they got good donuts there. There's lots of donut places in BC, man, I tell you. <coughs> I think you can even go to Crumble Cookies and stuff, too, and, uh... Going to Vancouver. I just gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I had trouble finding him too. It's whenever you want to find him. You can't. By the way, Timothy, I added an LED light to my little video game thing I was showing you the other day. M's Mr. Mrs. Dumpster Dun Dunster's Donuts. There's a fancy donuts at one of the grocery stores that I tried, you know, a couple months ago. They were pretty good. They had fancier donuts than Tim Hortons. I can't remember the name of the grocery store name, but it's expensive groceries. Like one of them natural Being food kind of places, you know? You know how when you buy the organic and, uh, the good good for you stuff they're always more expensive than you know crap i 
Esther, where do you go for donuts if you if you're craving some donuts? Like if you had to go to a party, that, a donut party or something. Come in a blue bag with an old lady on it. Like how old are you talking? Like is she like uh, a gilf? A gilf, G I L F. <laughs> Wendy's and Krispy Kremes when you do. You get donuts at Wendy's? You know, Gilf, it's like MILF. Instead of mother, I like to. It's grandma. can hold down the fort at Monsters Incorporated. That's what I was saying. I never heard of Wendy's having donuts. McDonald's has donuts now, though. Yeah. Maybe we're behind Australia, you know. They are in the future. There's a beach? Oh, I just love that low tide stench. I can't imagine Wendy's having great donuts, though. How would you rate the donuts at Wendy's, Esther? Because, you know, fast food joints around here, at least, seem to have mediocre everything. You know? Like, it's not the worst. I've been to Donut King's. Seven Eleven. I don't know if I'd go to Seven Eleven for donuts. I mean, they're not going to be the epitome of freshness. Krispy Kreme. That's the one I was asking Timothy about, but he said they don't sell them at the stores there. Donut King in my area is just like a Tim Hortons that didn't want to change to a Tim Hortons. Like it's identical inside. See that, Timothy? Best donuts ever. By the way, Timothy, I don't recommend to look up Gilf on the internet. You'll probably get some questionable results, I bet. I got eight zillion fish now, so chop off the old fish roonies.
Do they have any Outback Steakhouses in Australia? Is, is that like a Boston Pizza, the Canadian restaurant? Boston Pizza came originated in Edmonton, Alberta. And it was just because they thought it might attract more people. It wasn't even because it's for any roots or association of Boston. Although they were they were talking about if the Edmonton Oilers won the cup they were they were gonna rename Great. some stores to Edmonton Pizza. But I don't know how far long. Or how long they planned, I mean. And Edmonton didn't win, so they didn't have to do anything. How close are we there? Still 7 or 10, didn't get any purple gems on that run. And no, no sturgeons. Have you ever heard Aries? Guess we'll go check Shay Remy, eh? And our our garden up in the wildlands or whatever. stuff, eh? That doesn't sound very appetizing. What the heck's in gray stuff? What's in it? I don't think I've ever made it. C D F G oh we do I have made it. Looks like a cupcake to me, brown stuff.
Is she the only single ah, goodbye. princess or whatever that's in this uh, game? I think they're all with uh, a prince, aren't they? Is Moana? Moana might be single too, I guess. Most of them seem to be married to some sort of prince in Disney, hey? This garden looks like it's uh, ready. Penelope is, yeah, I guess she would be. Yeah, you notice, uh, with this garden here, oh, I'm gonna leave it all dug up, but it'll, it'll fill itself in automatically. Eventually. I'm pretty sure. I think I gotta talk to, uh, his face now. Okay. Yes, me. Somebody's supposed to be the cute lad. Excuse me, I have holiday experiments waiting. <laughs> ha! Uh -huh. How do you unlock Oswald anyway? I happen to be the world's most powerful. I haven't looked around the castle yet, I should do that, eh? There's a trophy. Everything I do, I do it for you. What's oh, a Rapunzel quest, eh?
There, look at that. There we go. Everyone here has a dream. There, we completed that. Now what? That, we get this guy here, this squirrel. I guess that's the other two, and then what's this thing? I mean, I don't collect hockey gear anymore. Or do, should I still go to Merlin's and Mickey's? I guess I'll go in here anyway. Keep collecting. So each one of these counts as one, I guess. And Mickey's got everybody's hockey gear. How did I get that orange anal? Uh, I just collected hockey gear and then it gave me one, I guess. Animal. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about something else. Gotta go to Mickey Merlin's and I think that's Merlin's. Mickey Merlin's and Goofy's. You gotta go into the castle and look around in there. And you gotta look around the bottom three portals. Worlds. To be the world's most There's hockey gear. Wizard, in case you were wondering.
And you gotta look in the back corner of the store, too. Uh, Birdie posted a huge post about it inside the uh, Dreamlight pictures section thingy. Gold ones. Oh, there's a gold one. That's right. I'm shifter, demigod of the wind and sea, hero to all. Hey, okay, now we got one more gold purple gem and one more sturgeon. Hopefully we'll be able to grab that very soon, eh? Do I have to go to Scrooge's house as well? Does Scrooge have a house? There's a lot about this valley. I didn't see nothing in Scrooge's store before. Timothy said to look behind the stairs here, you know. And he said it's never upstairs. Hey, there's a trophy, Esta.
and you just kind of look around the floor and then these th three bottom realms as well like just like Timothy just said of course let's go in here and just see what it's about Just say the word and I'm there. This thing's gonna join our realm. Ah, uh, yeah. I got you. Uh, uh. <laughs> so long. The rice bill. You guys throw the rice everywhere, man. I never looked in there. He never told me to look there. Might have been messing out. Good night.
You are in the presence of a legend! You know that, right? Uh... Oh, yeah! And remember, don't be a stranger. I gotta look for clothes. Hot tub. Not just the two of us. Can make it if we try. Actually, a pretty big, big realm, eh? Especially when you compare it to Wally's. I haven't seen any pants. Oh, I got shoes from somewhere. Stealing people's crap here. Now we just need some pants, some space pants. Can't get in there, eh? Where should I look for the pants? If you were a pair of pants, where would you go?
On our table. No pair of pants, but maybe it's in a van down by the river here. But there's no river. In the main valley, because I'd put, I'd put uh, that van down by the river. You just say the word and I'm there. <laughs> We have everything. Looks like a happy bacon and eggs. This her tent? What does Project 2025? It's a pretty big document from what I saw. I mean, you know, I didn't look it over, like, super closely, because, you know, I'm Canadian, but, and it's more applicable to Americans. Give me some big changes, though, from the sounds of it. You did get brainwashed into believing it. Like a weak minded man. Well, I didn't say whether it's real or not, but if they if they follow through with whoever made that <clears throat> they'll uh gonna be some changes. I remember it being somebody, one of uh, Trump's campaign guys that did it, though. There's some connection to him. You know what'll be hilarious, though, Armin? 
is if you don't believe it and then it turns out to be true. Game apps? What do you mean the game apps? Where's Mulan's tent? Which one's her tent? They all look the same to me. I would expect her to have a bigger tent, but... This must be her tent, the big one, eh? Huh. You guys believe that Joe Biden isn't fit for being president or the fact he kick it with Eddowes? Or are we just going to ignore that? What do you mean, you guys? Dude, you guys have the oldest people running for the presidents on both sides. You know, Bill Clinton, who was the president like four rounds ago, is younger than both of those guys. You know, the guy that's my prime minister, he was like in his 40s when uh, he got, uh, he won the prime ministership. Yeah, that's the minimum age. For you, for the states, for some reason, I saw Mr. Beast said he'd run for president if he if the the minimum wage was reduced, but he's too young. Well, I mean, people have different philosophies. That's all that that right and left stuff is. Is that they're just indicating the different philosophies. I mean, some people think it's good to to rule a certain way, and other people think it's good to rule a certain other way. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. Your Supreme Court screwed up your country anyway. Now, uh, now that your president has basically can do any official duty, they can execute their political enemies. Some guy's gonna do that eventually. You know what Joe Biden should do? He should put a SEAL Team 6 right in front of Trump's Mar-a-Lago house and scare the crap out of him. I'm not saying he should execute him, but some future president's going to use that power. Why would you want Mr. Beast to be president? He has no experience in the field just because he's rich. Because of YouTube doesn't make me suddenly him suddenly fit. Well, you guys figured a reality star was good enough to be president with no experience. And you guys thought an actor was good enough to be president. And some of them claim he's one of your better presidents. So I don't know. I, I think, you know, Mr. Beast has a pretty good chance, to be honest. You know, they, uh, Americans seem to like that <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> you know, he pretends to, to know a lot about business. He's gone bankrupt how many times? They're morons and they deserve the crap. So, you know, Mr. Beast has a good shot. Let's just say that. Okay. <laughs> you know, he, Trump portrays himself as a man of the people, and he uh, oh. doesn't even like lower class people. You know, he the guy's always had a silver spoon in his mouth. He doesn't relate at all. Goodbye. One thing we could say about Trudeau, and a lot of people don't like him right now, 
for Canada is that Trudeau has actually had a working person's job at one point, so he was a teacher briefly. So I mean that that's that's a good thing. I think that every prime minister and president they should should be forced to do some sort of regular middle class work at least uh, at least for half a year or something, you know. You want to know how to get rich in the states you just follow what those politicians or what stock they're buying you just want the prices to go down well that's the thing these rich buggers they don't they don't uh they don't care right you know like pierre polivier the guy that's the conservative uh uh leader who's competing for prime minister coming up for us He's gonna say he's gonna help with rent prices and uh, and housing prices and stuff. That's a provincial issue, first of all, and second of all, he uh, he's a landlord. You know, it's not even in his own interests. Let's get this show on the road. All those guys want to do is is they want to get rich. Biden's horrible for your country. Horrible. They're all horrible, dude. You're gonna, maybe the next set will be better. Because you got bad or bad as Joyce is right now. But, you know, you're going to have some future president use that power that the Supreme Court just gave. And they're going to become a king. Just what, you know, America fought against. They didn't want a king anymore, and now you guys have got a king again. You know, whoever wants, they, you know, seal, they can order SEAL Team 6 to execute political opponents and it would be considered an official act and they're protected legally from that. So it doesn't, there's nothing stopping them now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And the bad part for Canada is Canada seems to copy everything the states does. You know, that Paul Vieira guy uses all of Trump's taglines and everything. You know, he's calling everybody wackos, just like Trump calls people wackos and common sense. And, you know, he uses every, like, uh, freaking thing and I'm it out. seems to be working. Oh, I think Canada is going to be in trouble. Although, if Trump wins in the states, there's a good chance Canada will actually it'll help Trudeau a lot because Canada likes doing the opposite. But you never know. I mean, it might be different. It's looking good for those guys. Olivier and Trump. But, uh, you know, it was also looking good for the the guys in, the, in France and the UK, too. And they voted completely different than it was looking. to get their mind right are gonna keep getting used and abused well that that's the thing you know these rich buggers they uh they plot the little people against each other you know little crumbs you know and they just keep getting richer and richer although you know Biden and Trump or Trudeau and Paul Vier, those guys are just figureheads. I mean, it's still the Republican Party, you know, and you know what they normally do, and still the Democrat Party, they know what they normally do. It'll probably be business as usual. A little bit different because Trump's a little erratic, but, uh... <clears throat> Thank you. 
And that hurts. That hurts your guys' reputation. Like, literally. The, uh, you know, there's countries that are starting to figure out ways to not have to deal with America because you guys can't keep a deal solid between presidencies. You know, like, the arms industry, you know, like, America's arms industry makes a lot of money. 75% of their sales, you know, are Europe, and Europe's starting to look at uh, building their own arms because uh, they're worried that uh, Trump's going to cut them off. So, they're getting their own supply, supply chains going. They really let their supply chains weaken, and so they're they're changing things and they're gonna want to rely and just like you know in Canada really should start try start trying to find other trade partners other than the US because of you know Trump wanting to tariff things randomly all the time so you know America can go by themselves for for uh, that's what they want to do but that's not gonna help them economically it's a world trade deal now. So, that's the thing, you know. A lot of things that people don't think about. They're too egotistical there in the States to think about that stuff, too. but they can't get through there. Got to find buckets of water. Camp mud. I guess I got to dig, probably. Find a couple more red lilies. I thought that was a lily, but it's a pagan thing. You know... That one dude, that one rich guy, Buffett, he said it right, though. He said he could cure, or, uh, he could fix, um, he could fix their, their budget problems in, in five minutes. And what he said was, if they input, if they put laws in, that if uh, GDP went over 3%, uh, I think it's Warren Buffett. Um, he's like some billionaire. He said if you put laws in that said if you if GDP went over 3% or, or, uh, or the debt or something like that, I can't remember what it was exactly, but then, uh, then they're that makes them ineligible for re-election. And then, you know, they'd have a solution in no time because they don't want to lose their, their power, right? That's probably true. That would probably uh, work, although you'd never see the politicians actually institute a law that could cost them their job, though. That guy died, eh? That Buffett died uh, last year. They closed down the his restaurant in Vegas, even Margaritaville. Oh yeah, no, as if the G if the GDP went below three percent or something like that. I'm like, you know, basically tying it to their jobs. But if, uh, 
they don't keep that number up, then... Then their job's in trouble. With all those politicians and those judges, all those dudes, all they do is care about money. America's got the most bribable Supreme Court. It's ridiculous. You know what's funny? Is that we know... Um, we know some of your judges' names because they're so bribable and stuff and, you know, basically one-sided in their decisions. I couldn't tell you the name of any Canadian Supreme Court judge. They're just so, like, they're strictly by the law. They don't, yeah, they don't want to solve it. That's why he was saying that you could just tie it to their jobs. <clears throat> Did you hear that quote before? From Buffett? All those politicians, they're crooked. Our politicians are pretty bad, too. Although, like I said, I couldn't tell you any Supreme Court judge in Canada's name because... Do I have everything? I still gotta get one more red one. Do I collect it anywhere? I still got to get some buckets and throw a dig. Let me dig here. Is that what these things are? I think a good idea would be definitely to institute a upper age limit for all of them or term limit or something. Get some new ideas in there, you know? camp mud just need a bucket of water and a red thing of a bopper here's the red thing of a bopper oh I don't have all the mud yet I haven't seen a bucket in a long time, though. Yeah, you know what's funny about our politicians is every time they go somewhere... There's all these people on the internet complaining about how much money they spend. I mean, they do spend a lot of money. But, you know, when you're talking about hauling 50 delegates and crap like that, or, you know, the governor general went to Iceland and had to do limo services that cost 20 grand. When you think about Reykjavik being, like, basically... 
hundred thousand people. You know, there's not a lot of limo services, so they're you know basically had to rent it out twenty four seven and have it going the whole time. You know, because it's not just one person. And that representative was uh, governor general is pretty old too. But you know, people will complain about it because you know they like complaining. You know, they gotta bring security and stuff like that too. I mean, there we go. Now I just need a bucket. Where should I look for Tyler Bucket, Timothy? They random. They look near the gate. Here's a gate. Up in there. Like a kind of a bucket, but I don't see nothing outside either. I think buckets would be near the water, though, wouldn't it? They can go around the whole camp. Not very good defense. Got a bucket, maybe over here. Take a picture of Mushu. Here we go. Craft the unified dragon station statues. Where's the crafting table? Food. That's probably food too.
You just say the word and I'm there. <laughs> Aye. So long! And remember, don't be a stranger. Complete our training. Yes. <laughs> well, see you around. again soon. I just like gecko and stuff, it's good.
<clears throat> break bricks and fish. Catch salmon one, eh? Gain out of that one. Miss the fishing and animal crossing. How many more fish do I gotta catch here? There'll be a new Animal Crossing before you know it.
Where's these training bricks at? The inside? What these things are? That they're seats. I like the ones that I was breaking bricks because they're all easy to find and it was very quick. Statue's oh. <laughs> done. Well, I guess that's a good time to wrap up because I got to work tomorrow. If you haven't followed yet, please do so. If you want to check out my YouTube link, is in the video description. Variety streamer. There's all sorts of stuff to be found there. Um, thank you for those who shared. Much appreciated. Liked and all that. Timothy. Stephanie's finally back. Ignoring us for the longest time. We were asking her questions and stuff. Armin. Yeah, who do you like better? Woody or Buzz? 63% said Woody. There you go. That's interesting. Didn't get... Uh Quite as many votes for Buzz, 38%. He probably was waiting for it to end. He likes to have, hear her name. Like, uh, when I say who's the most recent chatters. All an ego thing or something. All right. Have yourself a good day, and thanks for being here.